What's going on, everybody? This is Darren from Affordable Shoe Review. Get to review some shoes for your friends and you. And today, guys, I am back with another of the Puma and Pokemon collaboration. I reviewed the Charmander uh, pair of Puma and Pokemon collaboration shoes yesterday. So I'm excited to get into a new pair today. So please, if you are new here, go like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate you very much for uh, stopping by and checking out my video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for continuing to rock with my content. I appreciate you liking, commenting, and interacting with me. I enjoy interacting with you guys, so thank you so much for continuing to do that. And now let's get into the pair of shoes. Before we actually open the shoes up, guys, please remember to go enter the giveaway that I am running with Danny Moore. Danny Moore and I are giving away a pair of lost and found Jordan 1s. Definitely one of the sneakers of the year, if not the sneaker of the year for most people. It is an awesome giveaway, completely free to you guys. So please subscribe to Danny, subscribe to me, comment your size down below in the comments, and also DM Danny on Instagram um, at Danny Moore 2369, I think it is 2639. I think it's 23 or 2639. Um, anyway, so DM Danny on Instagram and submit proof that you have subscribed to both of our channels for a bonus entry. So now let's get into the actual shoes. All right, guys, so if you watched my review yesterday, you saw this box. This is the Pokemon and Puma collaboration box. It is the 25th anniversary of Pokemon this year. I grew up in the 90s, so Pokemon is super nostalgic to me because I loved playing the Pokemon games as I was growing up. Speaking of Pokemon games, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet actually released today. So this is really in good timing because new Pokemon games actually released today on the Nintendo Switch. So pretty dope that I have this in hand for release day. Now on the front of this box, you'll see Gengar, Charmander, Pikachu, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. All Pokemon that are from the original 151 Pokemon. So really nostalgia for me because it brings me back to my childhood and trying to hunt down all of these Pokemon, you know, and choosing one of these four starters in the red, blue, and yellow games. So just awesome to see them on the box. And actually all of the Pokemon on this box got their own colorway and silhouette in this Puma and Pokemon collaboration. But now let's open it up and see what I have here as far as sneakers are concerned. All right, guys, you can see here that I have the Puma and Pokemon collaboration on the Puma suede, and this is in the Squirtle colorway. Now, this pair is really awesome to me because out of the starting Pokemon that you could choose from between Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle, Squirtle was my favorite. I was always a Squirtle fan. I know most people are Charmander fans uh, because Charmander eventually evolves into Charizard, who is a, an extremely popular Pokemon. But for me, it was always Squirtle. Squirtle was always my favorite. So with that said, let's go over the details of this Squirtle-inspired Puma and Pokemon Puma suede. And it's almost self-explanatory to look at it, right? Squirtle is a blue Pokemon because he is a water Pokemon, he is a turtle. And you can see that light blue color, they're actually two different color blues that are used on the suede that covers up a majority of the upper. You'll actually see a lighter suede that wraps up your mid panels as well as onto your heel cup. But then you have that accented with a darker blue suede that is on your mud guard as well as on your eyelets. The suede that is on the toe box and the suede that is on the mid panels, they feel exactly the same, even though it's two different colors. And this is a pretty nice suede. It is not bad. It feels nice to the touch. It does have some like back and forth patterning. If you move it, it gets lighter and darker. So definitely a pretty nice suede as far as the different colors of blue that cover up this shoe. The next detail I wanted to make note of is the pastel blue Puma swoosh or the Puma stripes that run from the back of the shoe into the mid panel. And this is a very light pastel blue color. You'll see that right there that runs up here. I think that's a really nice blue, very, very subtle blue, almost white because it's so light. 
But one of the cool things that they did with this, aside from it being in that shiny plasticky type material, is the fact that they actually took, uh, it looks like glue, but they dabbed glue onto the Puma swoosh or the Puma stripes and they made it represent water. So they look like water droplets on the Puma logo because Squirtle is a water Pokemon. So they took some, some glue dots, it looks like, and they put them up on all of the Puma logos that run on the sides of your shoes just to make it represent the water effect, you know, that Squirtle would have as a water Pokemon. Another dope feature of this shoe is on the back. There is a bright blue patent leather, and you'll see that on your heel tab right here. And there is also a water symbol inside on top of a white tab. So you'll see that right there. Obviously, Squirtle being a water Pokemon, you have to have some water representation. So pretty dope right there to have that blue water effect on the back of this sneaker. Now, next thing that I wanna draw attention to is going to be the midsole and outsole. And this is in kind of an iridescent green-ish color, but it definitely has that watery effect. It definitely looks like water. I love that semi-translucent color. It actually looks like it could be glow in the dark. I don't believe it is, but that semi-translucent greenish water color that is on your outsole as well as your midsole, definitely a very nice touch to this pair of shoes. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. Now this pair does come with two sets of laces. It has a flat blue lace that is in there um, as the stock laces, but it also comes with an extra pair of white laces in case you wanted to throw white laces in this pair. So it's nice to have an extra lace option, but I do like this blue lace that matches that patent leather on the back of the shoe. Now, as far as the actual Squirtle inspired hits, you will see a rubber Squirtle hang tag right here. So this is hanging on your left shoe. There is only one of these, so it is not on both shoes, but you will see the face of Squirtle on that rubber hang tag. You will also see Squirtle's face on this suede tongue, but there is a leather tab on the top of the suede tongue that features the Puma branding as well as the Squirtle face branding right there for Squirtle, obviously being the Squirtle Puma suede. Now, one of my favorite details, and I highlighted this yesterday with the Charmander pair, is on the inside of the tongue, you will see the numbers that say 007, 008, and 009. These are the respective Pokemon numbers for Squirtle and the entire evolutionary line of Squirtle. So Squirtle, Wartortle, and Blastoise. So really cool that they paid homage to all of the Pokedex numbers. That's where you would store your Pokemon when you caught them in the games. But they paid homage to those Pokedex numbers for the entire evolutionary line of Squirtle. Speaking of the evolutionary line of Squirtle, actually on the insole, they have the silhouettes of all three of the evolutionary line of Squirtle. So there are silhouettes of Squirtle, War Turtle, and Blastoise on your insole. Uh, I think that's super dope to have the entire evolutionary line running up your insole. Very, very cool because Blastoise is obviously one of the most iconic Pokemon in the entire Pokeverse. So as far as this pair and the Charmander pair, those are the two pairs that I have. I definitely like the Puma suede a little better. Now, it is a much thinner shoe, um, and if you have a narrow foot, you may wanna go a half size up in these, but they are long, so they're kind of weird sizing to me. But your choice on whether or not you wanna go a half size up or not, really up to you, but still a pretty dope shoe. The Squirtle Puma suede's, very excited to be able to review these for you guys because it just brings back all the nostalgia for me. But anyway, I appreciate you guys very much for uh, staying tuned for so long. 
Thanks for paying uh, or uh, coming to watch my video. I appreciate you very, very much. Please stay safe, stay blessed. Let me know what you think of the Squirtle Swades right here. Thank you so much and peace out.